Hey crafty people, it's been a long day. I went to the Scrapbook Expo first thing this morning. I left the house at 6.15, met Saw, helped her in her booth for a while, left at 11.30, got to the shop, groomed a bunch of dogs. It's now 6.03 and I'm home and I wanted to share what I got. So I'm gonna start with this Heartfelt Creations die set. It's three. And I guess it makes all these different things. Now, I wanted one that they had their most popular one, and they were out. And I would have bought that one, too, but they were out. And so I got this one. Then I had purchased from these folks before, and this is an inner stair step card. Um, how many are there? There's 10 with envelopes, but I probably won't use the envelopes. Um, and then these, which I've used before. And there's 10 of those. And these are $6.25 a piece. And I just thought, what the heck? I'll keep them in my stash. I picked up this memory box die. And I thought this would be a great pocket die for mini albums. And this was $22. So I picked that up. I picked up this postage rectangle layers. Um, this is a memory box as well. This one was $30, $29. That's a lot. I didn't realize it was that much, but I got that. Um, I always pick these up when I go. There's a company that does these laser cuts. And it comes in a set of three sizes of each design. They're $6.25, but they are so beautiful that I always pick these up every time I go. Look at this round one with the hearts. This one's a little more simple. And this pretty one. So I got those. And... I also got an order today from Nor Designs. Oh, I'll save that for the end. Um, I did get some score tape. I got two five eights, a three eighths, and a one quarter. I got this glue and this metal tip from um, Heartfelt Creations. A lady in line talked me into it. <laughs> um, I got the Sugar Hollow collection of papers. You guys have probably all seen the owls. I'm, I'm going to go through and show it all to you because I'm sure you've, you guys have seen that. And I did get... And what was really cool is if you bought three or more pads of paper, they were $16 a piece. I should have bought more. Um, I got the brand new Under the Sea collection. And I like the Heartfelt Creations better than I do the Graphic 45 um, one that's got um, their C pattern. I really like this one better. So I could have picked up the Graphic 45 one, but I just really love this one. And I'm going to make a mini album with this. No cards, just mini album. Okay, so there's that one. And then I also picked up... Ringing. I got the all glammed up. This one's a little older, but I had not had it. Reds and blacks. So there's that. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I got from. I still haven't finished with my scrapbook expo. I'm, I've got more to show you, but I'm going to go ahead and show you my Nor Designs stuff that I ordered. I got these, um, I don't know how to say that, Scrapinetic. It says, for my best friend, 
and there's two of those and this says use your wings and the word layers on top of the wings I got three of those and then I got this one that says love life and I got the typewriter keys I'm so excited to get the typewriter keys really really excited to get that so yeah I have a couple of projects planned with that this one's called create creales create a card and this is a like uh, a die to make what number is this this is number six number six so it will make this card here number six and I'm really excited about that I hope I can figure out how it works because I have no clue how what this language is um, okay so Dutch doobadoo I got the numbers they're super big I got the package and this will be great for birthdays as well as Christmas but that package is freaking huge I mean look at this compared to the house the house is really small not really small but compared to the package so I got the house I got the phone I got the clock and I got this really cool gatefold um, style card and then I ordered the magazine and I really ordered it because I thought it was um, because it had this I like the the sea stuff I'm not really into doing sea stuff but I knew I wanted to get some sea paper for the summer and I wanted to get this one so I'm gonna go through this and enjoy this immensely oh my gosh it's in a different language oh that's not good this is in a different language. Oh, guys, I feel really stupid. I'm glad I only got one. All righty. I'll have to look at the pictures. Okay, so I will be back with the second part to this video. Hey guys, I had to do a second part because I loaded up on Saw Crafters. Um, so here was the show guide. Way cuter than it has ever been before. And there was a lot of vendors. Um, I just, I, uh, I made it all around and honestly, I just didn't find a, too much stuff. I found a ton of stuff at Saw Crafters. Okay. So I got one of the small corset mini albums. I got another clock. I got these two that say you and me. Got two of those. I had never seen this before and I wasn't 100% sure what I would do with it but I was like you know buck 79 I'll put it in my stash um, I also had not seen these treasure this memory forever and the beauty of every day I didn't even realize they had different sentiments on them I should have got a dozen but these were a dollar I got a really pretty large window I got some what is this this is like a baby dress and so I was like what are you gonna do with that Rena it was $2.99 I was like I'm gonna make a banner she laughed um I also got the baby bottles in the same size I got this badass telephone. Tell me that isn't so stinking cool. So $6 for this really cool telephone. I love it. And are you ready, guys? Are you ready? I got two 
large mason jar mini albums. And these are the really large ones. So I'm going to be breaking out my knitwit collections uh, for these jars. So stay tuned for that. This is the size I had made before. Um, and it's a really nice size, but I really thought the large ones would be cool. Um, so I'm, I got both and I will be doing, oh, look, I got two of the smaller ones. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I got three of the smaller ones. Um, I got this really pretty frame. I don't know how much that one was. I got a couple of these. These are my favorite bird cages that Saw makes. I got a glue gun holder. And it's a funny story. I told Saw, I was like, I saw I have a glue gun holder. There it is right there. But you can see there's hot glue all over it. I never papered it. So I want to paper it. I want to make a pretty hot glue gun holder. So I got a new one. I got these. I had never seen these before either. And I was like, oh, I could alter these up into wedding dresses. And these could go in wedding albums. So I got those. And then I got a whole bunch of little stuff. I got the keys for the typewriters. So I got two typewriter albums that I will need to make. I got these wood words in the hearts really like that I got true love a love story sweet little memories love this moment always in my heart and I got three of those I got these that say love I got noted I got these birds, which I had not seen before from Saw. I got more hot air balloons, and I wish I had bought a couple packs of these. I love these. And then Saw threw these at me and said, you need these. So she gave me crosses, and she gave me ants. <laughs> so that is my Saw Crafters haul. And, oh, I have one more thing one more thing and I'm going to show it to you that is it a cutter pillar pro and I'm going to take it out and show it to you but it is a new massively cool paper cutter you probably have never seen anything like it um, so I'll be back hey with guys, that I want to show you my new paper cutter I am so excited about this. Check this out. Are you ready? It lights up. And this is the actual cutter. And every time you cut something, it sharpens itself. So, let me show you how it cuts. So, you put your paper right like that. You just use your hand to kind of push this up. I mean, just, just ever so gently. And then just... Voila. Look at that. It is so, so cool. And they had different sizes. Um, they had a smaller one, but I wanted the 12 by 12. So um, I did tell her that... Um, they should make it in pink and I asked her about painting it and I absolutely think I will she said oh yeah she showed me one that they had painted and then um, it's even got this drawer how cool is that so I can store um, like little tools whatever in that and there you go. Thanks for watching.
You gotta get this. Um, it's called the Caterpillar Pro.